Hi everyone, Larry here from Sunlucky. In this video, I'm going to share some helpful tips to get you started with contractors. This video is for absolute beginners, so if you already play contractors, you can skip this one. Or, you can share your personal tips on the comment section below. We're going to go over a lot of topics in this video, so make sure to check the time code below if you want to quickly jump between sections. First, let's go over the user interface. Pretty much everything here is self-explanatory, so I'm only going to go over a few things. First is height. If you have this set up incorrectly, it will cause some movement issues. The next ones are basically up to your personal preference. I personally have my player body set to full body IK so I can see the arms. Gadget and clip interaction are set to grip. This means I can use my grip button in order to grab magazines and grenades. Next is turning. If you don't have your VR legs yet, I recommend setting it off. Personally, I set it to 180 speed. Next part I want to show is Gunstock and B Haptics menu. If you're using a Gunstock like myself, this is where you calibrate. Then, if you have a B Haptics device, you can enable them here. The next topic we're gonna go over is movements. The joystick allows you to move forward, back, and sideways. You can physically turn around or you can use the non-dominant hand joystick to look around. You can jump by clicking the thumbstick. And you can slide by sprinting then quickly docking. If you experience dizziness, take a break. If you're prone to motion sickness, I recommend playing a few minutes at a time until you develop tolerance. Now, let's go over the fun part, which is weapon handling. I use this unlucky gunstock to help me stabilize my aim. First, you use the grip button to grab the rifle, and you can grip the front with your other hand to stabilize the recoil. To reload, you'll need to take out the magazine first, then replace it with one on your pouch. You can also switch between firing modes by clicking button B. Each weapon is slightly different so make sure to practice reloading before you jump in the game. Next, let me show you how to use pistols. You can grab the pistol which is located on your side. Then, you can use your other hand to stabilize. To reload, you need to click button B to release the magazine. Then, replace it with a fresh one on your side pouch. Next, let me show you how to use grenades. You grab using your grip, take out the pin, and throw it out. You can also cook the grenade by clicking B. Now, let's go over loadouts. You can set up up to 5 loadouts and there are a number of things to keep in mind. First, you get a certain amount of points for each loadout and each item has different value points. So you have to be smart about how you mix and match your items. Next is your vest. Each one has their own advantages and disadvantages. Light vest will make you move faster but you'll have lower hit points. Heavy vest allows you to take more damage but you'll move a bit slower. Standard vest is a good balance between the two. There's a lot of weapons to choose from, which can be overwhelming for beginners. So, I recommend sticking to one weapon first until you master the game mechanics. G36 and AK-5C are great beginner-friendly weapons.
I also made a separate video where I talk about beginner friendly loadouts. So if you need recommendations, please check that video out. Now that you have the basic concept down, it's time to play. I recommend doing practice rounds with easy bots until you get more comfortable with firing and reloading. Once you're feeling more confident with your skills, it's time to join a multiplayer game and have fun. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like to help with the algorithm. And if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.